Okay. I've got the broth and the chicken heated up. I've got all my equipment out here, I think. I don't think I've forgotten anything. So now I'm going to start filling jars. I've had them heating in my canner as I usually do. And this is a time when I really wish I did have the can my canning funnel with me. I totally forgot to bring it and I can't find mom's. It may be over at my sister's house. I don't know. But this is going to be tricky. Getting, uh, getting this chicken in here. It's a little concerning that I think the places where people are. It's hot. They're mm -hmm. See, there, I spilled some. Anyway, I'll fill one jar. Let's just get a little out at a time. You see how handy those funnels are? If I had the funnel with me, I wouldn't have an issue with getting the chicken in the jars. Now, when you do this, you don't pack it way down in there real hard. You can tap it a little bit, but you don't want it just shoved and crammed in there. You want to have it where uh, the liquid will flow around the chicken in the jar. See, I can go ahead. I can push a little bit, get it where. Any empty spots in the jar are filled without packing it real tight. Just a little bit more. Anyway, when you were doing raw meat, when you raw pack, which I rarely do, it releases its own juices and when it does that, the meat will shrink a little. It will back off a little so that then there's a lot of juices going around the meat. This is already cooked, so it's not going to be releasing anything. The noise in the, the TV in the background, I forgot to turn it down. It's just the weather channel. Bring it up to one inch headspace. Work out the air bubbles. Wipe the rim of the jar very well. Put on a lid, put on a ring, remember what I've told you before about how to get the, well, I have the ring on straight, hold on, there, there it goes, now, you just tighten it until it starts to turn on the towel, there, that's it, that's all you tighten it, put it in the canner, continue filling one jar at a time, if you do one jar at a time, uh, then your food, your jars, everything, but none of this stuff cools down. It stays nice and hot the whole time, and your canner is heated too.